working on a blurry bokeh background for this watercolor painting. I'm working on dry paper and using very juicy concentrated colors. I am applying a very dark green into the background and going around shapes where I will put lighter colors or where I've already put lighter colors. I'm vaguely creating circles, circular shapes here. They don't need to be perfect. I think that if you, if you used like a circle template or something, it would just make it look more geometric than it would more natural. So I go around the circles with my dark color and then I pick up some lighter color, put down more circles, go around that again with the dark green. You can see how wet the color is here. There was quite a bit of background to cover in these egret paintings. So they are time consuming. They took quite a while to complete. Here I'm adding blue little blue spots for sky in the background poking through the trees. And then I'm going around those with a dark green. Here I've added a brighter yellow for a very light struck area. Going back in with multiple shades of greens, green, green, yellow, continuing to fill up the page and not leave any little white specks of paper. Here I'm, I've gone back with just a damp brush to soften the edges of everything I've just been working on putting down. We don't want hard edges here. Everything needs to be very blurry and soft for it to stay in the background. So every place colors meet up with each other, it all has to get softened with a damp brush.
here I'm going back and softening some more and if I brush on the paper it will lift even more color and then to make brighter areas I can come back in with a paper towel and push down on the circles where I want to lift even more color the paint comes right up and creates brighter areas